my name is Priscilla and today I will be reading Gloria's Voice, the story of Gloria Steinem, feminist activist leader by Aura Lewis. March is Women's History Month, so I wanted to read this story because Gloria Steinem is someone that I look up to. Do you have a woman in your life that inspires you or you look up to? Let's begin reading. And right here is a little summary of Gloria's life. Gloria Steinem changed our world by giving women a voice during a time when opportunities for women were limited. Despite facing many challenges, she never gave up hope that she could help people. She has dedicated her life to promoting issues of equality and peace around the world, and she continues to inspire us today. And right here we have a little quote from her. Without leaps of imagination or dreaming, we lose the excitement of possibilities. What do you think about this quote? This is Gloria. She has big dreams. She dreams of being famous. And of being a hero who helps people all over the world. Her mama had a dream once too. She dreamt of leaving their small town and doing something big. She dreamt of being a journalist in New York City. But as a wife and mother, Gloria's mama has to stay home and take care of their family. That's what women are expected to do. That's just the way things are. Gloria thinks this is very unfair. When Gloria is 10 years old, her parents decide to live in separate homes. They are very different, and their differences make it hard for them to live together. Gloria misses her papa, who travels far for business. But the hardest part is when her mama falls ill and can no longer look after Gloria or herself. Sometimes it's as if Gloria is the grown-up and her mama is the child. Deep down in her heart of hearts, Gloria wishes her mama had followed her dreams. Gloria grows up. She feels ready to leave her small town and do something big. She dreams of going to New York City, but first she wants to travel like her father. So Gloria journeys across the ocean to India. She travels with only a sari, a cup and a comb she sees beautiful sights, but also a lot of suffering. There is inequality between the rich and the poor, and there are wars in the villages. Gloria joins an aid team that holds meetings for the villages. They come and talk about their fears, and Gloria listens. Thank you, they say, and bring her gifts of rice. We never thought anyone from the outside cared. Gora is overjoyed, knowing that she's making a difference in people's lives. After two years in India, Gloria decides it's time to go to New York City, the land of dreams and possibilities. Gloria wants to keep helping people just as she did in India. She becomes a journalist. She hopes to report on people and their struggles. Yet, at the magazine she works for, Gloria is asked to write about hair, beauty products, and stockings. These are fun, but are not the kinds of issues that Gloria is passionate about. Gloria feels like a typewriter without a ribbon. She realizes that even in New York, the opportunities for women are limited because the people in charge are all men. They give most of the interesting assignments to other men. They leave little room for a woman's voice. And Gloria wants to be heard. Gloria has a friend who knows of her wish to become a serious journalist. One day, he asked her if she would like to report on a new group called the Women's Liberation Movement. Gloria is curious. She learns that women who belong to this movement call themselves feminist. They want to help other women. 
They believe that women can be in charge and work at the same jobs and have the same opportunities as men. They want to give women a voice. Gloria is inspired. She realizes that just like her, women everywhere want to be heard. And she believes that she can help give them a voice. Gloria asks her fearless friend Dorothy for help. She hopes that if they speak out for equality together, people will listen. Dorothy can't wait. The two friends travel all over the country. They give speeches about women's rights. They talk about respecting all people, no matter what they look like or where they come from. Be strong and proud of who you are. Gloria wants to spread the word even more about feminism and equality. But how, she wonders. Then Gloria has a big idea. To make her idea happen, Gloria knows that she needs many people to come together. With the help of Dorothy and other friends, Gloria starts a new kind of magazine. It's all about women and only women are in charge. They call it Miss Magazine. Miss Magazine gives women a voice. Gloria is excited to see Miss out in the world, but she's also scared. She wonders what people will think. They're not used to seeing this kind of magazine. They're not used to women being in charge. Many news reporters speak out against Gloria's ideas. They predict that the magazine will fail. But it doesn't. In fact, it is a smash hit. The magazines fly off the newsstands. People want to hear what women have to say. Gloria is delighted. The magazine's success gives her hope. Hope that all doors will open to women. Hope that there will be equality between women and men. I'm a hopeaholic, she says. Gloria knows there is still a lot of work to do before her hopes become a reality. She has big dreams, and she has only just begun. Never stop dreaming. The end. I hope you enjoyed reading the story with me. Bye.